Okay. You keep just popping away. I don't care what you, if you take lots of pictures or not a lot of pictures. I'm just going to video, uh, yeah, videotape it. And then if you print me some pictures, I'll take Okay. Oh, that would be very nice. <laughs> Look at this one moving and shaking. That's cute. All they over the me. place. Must be all that coffee. <laughs> Wiggling and moving, and I'm waiting for this baby to get in the right position so that right, I can so measure. measure the crown to rump. Right? Yeah. I wonder if that's about the best I'm going to get. Let's try it. Tip of head. It's not very much amniotic tail. fluid, is there? It's normal. Baby's oh, okay. wiggling around, so normal is normal. Let's see. There's the end that I can see. Right? There. So I got you three centimeters and a third long. We'll do a couple measurements okay. and average them out, okay? Just to make sure, because this baby's wiggling so much. Okay, so let's do it again. See, there's your big sack. Maybe okay. it's just over in a corner somewhere. Okay. Hi. You were just down in the hole. Look at you wiggling and moving all over the place, showing off for your mama. Cute. Arms and legs and head and face. Kicking and moving. Let's get some pictures for your kids of arms and legs. Can you see? Oh, yeah. Yep. Okay. It's amazing how fully formed they are at this. Oh, no. We can see a lot. Oh, that's so cute. With the foot hanging down. Yep. All right. There's another one. Let's, let's do that one. See if we can get if that measures. Similarly, tip of head. The tip of tail. Similar. We'll do one more on average. There you can see the little foot and toes. Yep. That's cute. All right, Munchkin. There's the heartbeat. You can see yep. cardiac activity there, just normal. Oh yeah. I've been able to hear the heartbeat for a couple of weeks now. I have a Doppler. You have a Doppler at home. That's because you're so skinny. People who aren't skinny can't hear. You gotta get in the right position for me. <laughs> Good job. You are just nestled in there. Can't get your butt correct because those little scrawny legs down there. Oh yeah, bull legged. Bull legged is right. I'll get out. Get into the big cavity so I can measure you. Yeah, you see, uh, it seems to stay in one spot. It. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a girl. Isn't that awful that we called your baby an it? But it's it's probably a girl. Probably a girl. What do you have at home? I have two boys and three girls. <sighs> yeah. I'm guessing it's a girl by the heartbeat. It's about 170-ish. No, that's not. That's total crap. Just it so always works for me, though. Always. Just so you know, total crap. Really? Yeah. I don't know. It's been pretty... Pretty accurate so far. Let's just put it that way. There's no science behind that. That's I know. Just some, that's like the sun rises over there. It has to be a girl. <laughs> Hate to tell you that, Mama Theta. But that's true. true. Which side is the placenta on? Because that's also supposed to be. Here's your placenta. Your placenta tries to implant in a new place every pregnancy. Oh, really? Oh, I so know it looks posterior here. Because there's. Right. As long as it's not on the bottom. Well, we don't know. We don't know because I'm doing We don't want it to be on the bottom. No, it doesn't appear to be on the bottom. Okay. Oh, yeah. There we go. You know? Not at all. Here's vagina. Okay. Coming down. So it's not. Hey, scoot over here so we can see you good. Girl. She's not behaving. No, I'm just Girls are always stubborn. Look at her. She likes it right there. Yep. She says, hey, if you could float upside down like this, you'd do it too. <laughs> you wouldn't want to move either. So there. Everything about what we can see looks totally normal. Okay. Okay. That's good. Let's look, make sure ovaries are normal. I would think so. Well, sometimes you get big old. Sometimes we deliver people and they have lots of pain during their labor. Uh -huh. This girl had a lot of pain during her labor. 
and she said, I can't do it, I can't do labor. And we did a C-section and she had a huge mass on one of her no ovaries. And it wasn't like some bad mass, it was a benign thing that we see all the time. Right. But that was why she had pain. And so if you don't look, you can miss right. it. So we always like to look. Your bladder's full. Ouch. Yeah, it was full when I got here and then I tried to drink some more water because I thought maybe I needed yeah. it. Yeah, you're over in the Okay. Alrighty. Come on, see you